fellow Sierra Leoneans. In our fight to protect against and curtail COVID-19, we have taken well-considered measures to protect lives and also sustain livelihoods through an inclusive and rigorous consultative process with stakeholders and experts. Throughout, we have also urged strict compliance with all public health directives. Citizens must take personal responsibility for protecting themselves and their loved ones from COVID-19. Persons who are refusing to comply with health directives are exposing themselves, their loved ones, and their communities to the grave risk of infection and possible death. I have strongly urged the leadership of the National COVID-19 Emergency Response Center, NACOVAC, to take all necessary actions to enforce full compliance with all public health directives. Based on expert advice on the aerosol transmission of COVID-19 and the possible risk of rapid community infection among congregations, we advisedly closed all places of worship. I have since then held multiple consultations with the Inter-Religious Council, the Ministry of Social Welfare, Ministry of Health officials, NACOVAC officials, experts, and other stakeholders. The leadership of the Inter-Religious Council drafted proposals covering infection prevention protocols, capacity management, social distancing, and social mobilization, among others. Experts have closely examined the proposed measures and advised no objections to those proposals. I'm therefore pleased to announce that effective Monday, 13th of July, 2020, all mosques and churches and all the places of worship shall be open for congregation and worship. Additionally, starting Monday, 13th of July, coffee hours will be eased to 2300 hours to 0500 hours or 11 p.m. to 5 a.m. NACOVAC we announce a comprehensive list of enforceable measures as proposed by the Inter-Religious Council. Congregation leaders are expected to help enforce full compliance with all measures at their places of worship. Ministry of Transport and Aviation officials, Ministry of Health officials, SPAC, and stakeholders groups have audited proposed processes and simulated possible scenarios for arrivals and departures at Lunge International Airport. I'm pleased to announce that Lunge International Airport will be reopened for all scheduled commercial flights on Wednesday, 22nd July, 2020. NACOVAC will soon announce a comprehensive list of guidelines and protocols for air travel to and from Sierra Leone. The easing of restrictions does not mean an easing of the threat of COVID-19. COVID-19 is still highly infectious and deadly. I urge every Sierra Leonean to continue to strictly adhere to all healthcare directives and continue to play his or her part in protecting against and curtailing the spread of COVID-19. I thank you and God bless you, Radiant.